Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on so that you can get the latest notification about my new tutorials. Hello and welcome to For All Links Walkthrough Videos. Today we are going to look at how to generate a CSR to get a certificate from CA and then bind it to any website to secure your connection. So if you look over here, I have my WhatsApp Google website which is bind to HTTP currently. I'm going to make this website bind to HTTPS. To do that, I need to create a certificate. I can use a self-signed certificate or I can generate a CSR and generate a certificate from my CA. Keep in mind, this is same server which I have CA on. So I'm going to create a certification request, certificate request, and I'm going to issue it lab.local, which is my fully qualified domain name of this. I'm going to name it as lab organizational unit my IT city is let's say next I will select 2048 bit length for this and I'm going to save it to my file which I have already created which is empty and I'm going to override this file for this code. Now the next step is to generate this certificate from CA. So to do that I would need this code. So I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this in my uh, clipboard and I'm going to open my CA which is installed on the same server. And I'm going to request a certificate and I'll use advanced certificate request and then I'm going to click on submit a request by using a base64 encoded CMC. I'm going to paste that over here, the code 64 bit code which I generated and I'm going to use it as web server. I'm going to submit it. Let's download the certificate now. And this certificate I'm going to keep it on desktop and I'll save it. Now the next step is to complete the certificate request. To do that, I'm going to go into this page over here and I'm going to upload this certificate over here. So maybe I'll name it as app SRV dot look. I'm going to use it for my hosting. And then I'll say okay. Just ignore this message. Once you come back to this, this is available over here. Now the next step is to bind my website to this certificate on HTTPS port. For that I would use this certificate and I'm going to bind it at 8443. I'm going to click on this. Now let's go over here and open our website. Uh, This is my fully qualified domain name of this machine and I'm going to access it on 8443. And if you look over here now, it is encrypted. You just need to make sure one thing that this should be your fully qualified domain name when you issue a certificate. Otherwise, you will keep on getting this certificate error. For example, I can open the same website using localhost but it would not be trusted thank you so much for watching for our next walkthrough videos please comment subscribe to my channel and let me know if you need to know more about any of the products i'm talking about